All right, welcome. Today we're going to talk about IDEA, um, the power that it can bring to data analytics and what we use IDEA for here at Larson. Um, we're going to be working with two data sets, cash disbursements and employee bonuses. So just a brief description of what IDEA is for those that are unfamiliar. Um, if you're familiar with Microsoft Access, IDEA is similar to Access. It's a lot more powerful. You can handle a lot more data um, and you can uh, produce a lot more analytics and analysis um, as well. Um, so here on this home tab is where you create your projects, you import your data. Um, once you get the analysis that you want, then you can export um, usually via Excel or PDF is the way that we go. Uh, then on, on this analysis tab, which is where we'll be working, is where you run your analysis. So first we'll start with our cast disbursements detail. Um, so today we're going to demonstrate um, two of these tools. So we're going to demonstrate duplicate key and Benford's law. Uh, so within this cash disbursement, typically things that you might see duplicates are check number, duplicate memo. Um, so we'll run a few duplicates here. We're uh, going to run a duplicate detection. We're going to update the key to be check number so we can identify all duplicate checks issued during the year. Uh, we're going to export all the fields. Um, and then we'll call this duplicate check num. Okay, then it exports all of the data that had uh, in which a check number appeared more than once. You know, so here we can see there was a lot of duplicates between October 6th and October 9th. So perhaps there was some, an issue with the system during those days. We'll wanna investigate that further. Um, another duplicate analysis uh, we can run is on uh, memo. Uh, we'll update and change the key to memo and call this duplicate memo. We see all of the transactions for which the memo is identical. Um, and you can see these amounts are, are different. And so we'll wanna investigate, was that a mistake? Did we pay someone twice, three times? Uh, yeah, then the final uh, example we'll show is running duplicate um, test on multiple fields. So we'll, we'll see what vendors were paid multiple times on the same day. Uh, oh, we wanna make sure we're running on the data set. So currently I'm running it on this duplicate memos data set. I need to go back to this cash disbursements data set and we're gonna run that analysis. We're gonna update to memo, sorry, date and then vendor. Multiple payments to same vendor on the same day. So these vendors received multiple payments on the same day. We see this day, Pad Lockerty received a lot. So we might wanna investigate, why did we pay them so much? Uh, can we create efficiencies by paying them once in a day, et cetera. Uh, then on this other data set, employee bonuses, we're gonna show you the fuzzy duplicates power. So we can run fuzzy duplicates, which will analyze duplicate records um, that may not appear as duplicates in like a standard Excel file. So here we're gonna add address as our key and we'll call this, um, duplicate employee bonuses. Okay, we run the fuzzy duplicate and it identifies this person, Robin Hicks, received multiple payments and they had a different address each time. West Main Street spelled out, W Main Street, West Main abbreviation street. Oh, you see down here, abbreviation West Main abbreviation street. So this person changed their address, trying to be tricky. Another one, Alexis Pratt, Alex P. In, in Excel, you're not gonna be able to identify those as duplicates, but here it will. Alton Kane, A. Kane, Israel H, Israel Hale. This person changed Avenue to Ave. Uh, so th this gives us areas where we can drill down and, uh, and look to see if there was errors, if somebody was paid twice um, because their original address didn't show up or if there is fraud going on here. Um, so now we'll look at Benford's law analysis. So we're gonna run this on this cash disbursement data. 
you just click here on Benford's Law, we'll do first digit, first two digit, and first three digit analysis. Um, we'll call it Benford's Law Analysis. Uh, we want it to run on a mount. And let's run this data detail. So we see this is the first digit, Benford's Law, second digit, third digit, first three digits. So on this first digit, we see it follows the standard curve for the most part until we get to four. And four is way high and five is way low. Uh, you know, so if you have a, a policy in place where all invoices greater than 5,000 require additional approval or dual signature, you see a lot of invoices are coming in under that threshold. So we'll want to analyze the $4,000 payments to see is, is there fraudulent behavior here? Do we have, um, do we not have appropriate controls, um, et cetera. Uh, but so this analysis that we've shown today for duplicates and for Benford's law, uh, we saw it took five, maybe 10 minutes max to, to run all of this. Um, it took me a minute to import the data. So from start to finish, 10 minutes tops. Um, so this is a great tool to analyze your data quickly and identify potential fraud or errors that you'll want to investigate further. Um, and anything else that, uh, that you might want to do. These, there's plenty of tools up here to analyze top records, key values, et cetera. Uh, yeah, that, that's the power of idea. Thanks for joining us today.